Welcome to the Race to Rugby World Cup pod with Ron and Adam from the side of the road, somewhere on the planet. Sure. Yeah, we are. We're on episode three. And our first one in Namibia, our first one in another country. Oh, lucky enough to be here today with Louis Boerta. Very exciting for us. Uh, Louis works for Element Engineering Consulting, and they've got a massive operation here in the Harab region of Namibia. And they're basically rebuilding a big 90 kilometer stretch of the B1 National Highway. And their camp that they've got here is off the charts. In the middle of the desert, with not much around. You know, we ended up booking a guest house at the top of the, the highest hill in Springbok. If that <laughs> wasn't the guest house at the top yeah, we'd get no, off our bike and like okay that's us and throw our toys then walk and some guys that were on a fishing trip <laughs> they were still there drinking <laughs> they were just having a good time they were actually laughed they're like are you guys about to cycle it's 1am and yeah. we're like yes we are we need to beat the heat <laughs> different strategies <laughs> yeah, for the exactly. day yeah. we were going to tackle our longest day yet which is 160 yeah. kilometers this is where I had a bit of a wobble I started falling asleep on my back, legitimately. And this and is like the, two, three in the morning. I actually get goosebumps thinking yeah. about how this <laughs> tiny little country, one of the most sparsely populated mm, countries in the mm, world, absolutely, with, along with Mongolia, steps up at the World Cup and it's scrum against the All Blacks. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, 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 it's incredible. It's, yeah. it's crazy. What is the sort of the landscape of rugby like in Namibia? And- pretty much, pretty amateur-ish. You know, the, the Namibian Rugby Union has a yearly uh, competition. So the premier is the top dog. That's that's yeah. quite tough. The, the whole thing is run by individuals, you know, and and farmers, business people. But it was just amazing to to be with a team. Yeah. You know, you're, you're part of the team. You you're there. You. Let's say rugby is a fantastic sport. Eh? I did know. I did know that there was a big push in Namibia to get women's rugby Absolutely. Um, on the map. And I mean, yeah. we're, as I say, we're off to the Women's World Cup in New Zealand. And how's it going in Namibia? Yeah, yeah it's picking up. It's always been talked about and there's always been uh, um, attempts to to get it up and running. Yeah. But now they, they, they're going well. When mm. you get the right event and the right people behind it, change can happen quite quickly. Yeah. And I remember his name, Torsten van Jaarsveld. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wait, sorry. Torsten, if you're listening to this podcast, there we go. Torsten van Jaarsveld. So. All right, Lou. Well, we're going to be watching. Uh, we're going to make sure we go to one or two Namibia games. We'll f- mm. we'll fly the Namibian flag. Thanks to everybody listening to this, this podcast. Um, see you next week. Thank Ciao. you. Cheers. <laughs>